So I was recently asked how I can use OpenBoard with PowerPoint. Now, OpenBoard doesn't directly support PowerPoint, but there are a couple of features that we can use to, to make use of our PowerPoint presentations through OpenBoard. So the first one we've got is if I go back to my desktop and I've got my PowerPoint file, I can capture the screen. So I go to the slide that I want, I can capture the screen, add it as a new page, and then I can do whatever I want to do, sort of point to different bits or, or highlight some code or, or whatever it is that I'm trying to, to demonstrate. The, um, the next option would be to grab a portion of the screen. So we can use this one here and we can grab a portion of the screen, add it to a new page and then we've got that portion of the screen that we were dealing with and then I can sort of carry on as normal with my whiteboard and highlight the key areas, make any notes to what I wanted to talk about. The final option you might find more useful. So though it doesn't directly support PowerPoint files, it does support PDF files. So if we save our PowerPoint file as a PDF file, and I've got the option under documents which you can't quite see because of my screen but it's down here and then they're the documents that I've already been playing with that you've been we've just created so we can import a PDF file so we choose import we find the PDF file we want to import it's my 13 slides and it's imported them as full slides. So now I can open up these in the open board, go to the bit I want, do my talkie, make any key point notices I need to do, talk about individual tasks. And then the good thing about this is that if I close this, desktop Okay, and then come back to it later. So if I actually close down OpenBud altogether, so OpenBud has actually stopped and relaunch OpenBud. Back to my documents, you'll find that that file is still there, and any change that you made to that file are kept. So they are there, ready for you for your next lesson. You could also, if you wanted to, if you're in your documents section. You can export this um, as a, a new PDF file or even an open board format, but I tend to export them in um, as new PDF files so that I can share them with other teachers with the highlighting that I've made, maybe for a different class. So there's three different ways that we can use open board with PowerPoint.